here we are at uh, step one of the, today's quest. We're uh, heading out for the specs. The trail into the trail into the lake. It was uh, the highway right there. She's a snowy uh, morning, and we uh, had a little slow, long, slow trip coming up. We're ahead of the snowplow, so we're on our way. Corey's already uh, going around the corner down to the lake. He's already out there with the dog. So here we are. We uh, haven't even got uh, the holes out. I still haven't got my first line out, and Corey already got the first little speck. One out of three. One out of three done. Nice little pan press. Yeah. That's, uh, that's on the. Well, that's about as small as we catch out of here. So. Let's see if we can find something bigger for number two. Still got uh, kind of a light snow. This is supposed to be kind of snow all day. There's uh, another one all set up. Well, Dad just lost the own, the second fish of the day. After a fast start, things have slowed down a little bit. Uh, dogs are starting to change color out here. From black to white. White, yeah. Be heading to the lake trout lake pretty soon. Yeah. And we just have a little hit here. Corey's playing with one. Those of you who've never ice fished before, this is what you do. You stare at little rods and poles for hours in the end as the snow comes waiting for some fish to move them. Well, we uh, only end up, ended up with one speck, so we've moved on to trying to catch some lake trout, and it's about quarter to 11. Lake trout lake's just there, so uh, hope we're more successful at lake here than speck. So here we are on uh, lake number two, the Lake Trout Lake. We uh, just walked for a kilometer, a kilometer and a half or so. <laughs> How long is it going to be in your story? Six miles. Six miles. Ten kilometers. He trudged through the snow. Yeah. And we just got out here. Uh, I haven't actually been on this lake in about 15 years, so hoping we find some water here. We got a little shoal right here, a little point right over there, which is probably going to be where we have lunch in a few minutes. And time to start fishing and see if the lake trout are biting. Corey and his uh, assistants there drilling the magic hole here. Pretty sure this is the hot one. There we go. Next time we show you the picture of this hole, we'll be dragging a fish out of it. So we've been fishing here just, uh, I don't know, how long we've been here? Same time as the speck? Yeah. But just got the holes down and I was just going over to start a fire and Corey got a little trout. So I this... I have my second one. Oh yeah, Corey doesn't even have those holes down. So this guy is... Uh, this lake that we're fishing here doesn't have any uh, Cisco or whitefish, so they're feeding on minnows and shrimp and stuff. And that's about the size that they're, they're going to be in this lake. So it's a nice little guy. Good little eater. Yeah. Two for three. Two. Two down. For the uh, the other rods pop down, maybe two out of three. Yeah, and there's uh, there's where I was just a couple minutes ago trying to get lunch fire going. So uh, I've just got the fire going here. Dogs, one dog sitting on all my firewood. There's T. 
teeth are getting snowed on. And Corey tells me he's caught another fish. So he's limited out on trout already. So he's packing up. And he can come and cook lunch and I'll go fishing. So, two lake trout, both, caught both of them as soon as the line hit the bottom pretty much. Uh, pulled up this one and I was untangling the line as it was going down and then this guy hit. So, nice eater fish. And, uh, this one's got some nice orange fins that are frosted up now, but so yeah, that was a. Uh... So you walked 45 minutes to fish for about 20. Oh, about that. I need to clarify. When I said we walked six miles, I meant six metric miles. So that's six, double it, 12, add 30. I walked 42 miles to catch two lake trout, and I'm done. In a month. If you believe that, you're as smart as Bob and Doug. So, two out of three fish species down, one to go. It's time for lunch. Time is it? It's vital for. Uh, it is 12:45. 12:45. So we hit this back lake at about 8:30. 39 by the time we got out there. 8:39. We stayed there till about 10:30. And we drove up the road about not very far. And then after the six mile walk in we <laughs> came here and I limited out on lake trout and Dad made this fire to cook our delicious lunch. With the hot dogs and coffee. Coffee needs to start perking there. So so far we're one spec. We lost uh Two, three. Two or three. That we're hitting. They were pretty grouchy this morning, touchy this morning, but lake trout were much nicer for us. Yeah. And now they're uh, actually calmed down and letting us eat lunch right now. Which is very thoughtful of them. Yes. Hey. And there's our pitiful dog Poor looking all sad. Poor little cute. And the other one curled up in the trees there. How the hot dog's looking? They're burnt. Ears aren't cut. Yeah, just the way we like them. Oh, my ears are. And, uh, so after lunch, I guess we'll, Dad will have to catch his fish and then we'll hike out. And Blake definitely seemed to be less picky than Specs and Lakers about when they hit and what they hit, so knock on wood, but hopefully our success will continue and we can grand slam it today. Okay, so we uh, we just came out from uh, finished lunch, finished our coffee, came out, I picked up the line and uh, checked the minnow as soon as I dropped it down. This guy came along. So nice, uh, nice start. Very colored fish. And that's it for lake trout fishing. It's uh, off to Bold Lake and Splake. So we got the uh, lice fishing sleigh there all loaded up. Corey's got all his gear on his back and the dogs are ready to move. We're heading back to the vehicle and heading to the next lake. So we're uh, heading down into uh, Bold. Hopefully we'll finish a trout slam and catch a spike or two. I can catch two from Element and Dad can catch one. <coughs> so uh, someone was in here this morning and came out so we hope that means that they're biting and they limited out. Just uh, one steep hill to get down to the lake which is good on the way down and six miles on the way up yeah next stop
sleep. Well, we've only been here uh, five minutes or so, and uh, we got two on the ice. Just one more to complete the the trout slam. We uh, there someone was in here earlier, and their holes were still open, so saved us a little bit of work. Cory just, uh, this is about five minutes later. Cory just hooked another one. Nice little slake. Northern Trout Grand Slam. And uh, it's uh, just past 2.30 in the afternoon. It's taken us, even though it was only a 15 minute walk in here, I think it's taken us longer to walk in here <laughs> than uh, to uh, catch these guys, so. Good. Mission accomplished, I guess, eh? So there, there's the catch. So there's three splake on the left, a uh, little speck in the middle, and three uh, Lakers. Lakers on the right. Um, so that's our limit. Ontario has, although the, the individual limits for splake and specks is five, if you have a regular license, and two for the lake trout. Ontario has a rule that you can't catch more than uh, five trout as an aggregate. So, Corey has a regular license, so he's allowed five of them, and I have a conservation license, so I was only allowed two. So, limited out by 2.30 on three different species. Pretty good day. All right. Time to play hockey. Yep, <laughs> time to, lots of time to get home, and we got hockey tonight. What a great country we live in. <laughs> Yeah, we really. There it is. The trout, Atacoke and trout slam. So this is the uh, the red streak, our, our faithful vehicle. This. Girls all packed up. Put the sled. Ice fishing sled in, and uh, she's all good. Heading say home. hi. Anything you want to say? So, uh, here we are heading down the road, and as you can see, it's plowed. It's plowed. So we beat the snow plow up this morning, and uh, actually, uh, must have come by when we were Yeah, there. in the last hour, the snow plow came by, so that's nice. Won't do a little bit better than 60 kilometers an hour. So, son, what do you think? Well, we uh, we accomplished what we set out to do. We caught a speck, some Lakers, and some flakes. They were a bit a bit smaller than what we were. The speck was pretty the small. The speck was average. I guess the lake trout were average for the lake. The speck was pretty small for yeah. that lake, yeah. And, uh, uh, Splake, that's about what it's been running this year. Yeah, this other year, the other years we've caught some better fish out of there, but we, we caught what we wanted to catch, so we can't really complain too much. And it's, uh, 3.30 and we're on the way home. We're not going to be late for supper. We're not going to be late for hockey. It's all good. Yep. <laughs> Final words. Take a kid fishing. <laughs> it's always good. Okay. The Archie shells in the background. Yeah. 16 games.